Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Optimal Wack here to deliver you the latest news on Pokemon Go. If you're new to my channel and want to know more about Pokemon Go news and updates, feel free to like and subscribe. So, at the top of the list, a tweet from The Silk Road. I uh, certainly encourage you guys to follow anything about Pokemon Go uh, through at The Silk Road as well. Uh, they certainly are one of the biggest help in regards to, to the Pokemon game um, altogether. And they certainly do collect a, quite a substantial amount of data that will certainly help Pokemon Go players like myself um, to enjoy the game even better. Okay, so um, as it states here, weather outages. Um, our new favorite phrase, are reportedly occurring for travelers around the world. Niantic has confirmed they are investigating the issue. Now is a rare, clear chance to confirm a local nesting species without confounding weather spawns and travelers. Now, um, I do like the response here by uh, Jane Pantherago. Um, they could also fix the Pokemon, Pokemon storage uh, issue. So one could do some massive, uh, mass evolves again. Yeah, but that's uh, an outstanding issue with Pokemon Go at the moment. So I think the majority of the, the issues that are there are very minor, I would have to say. I understand it's a little bit of a hindrance in how we play the game, but as an overall sort of uh, game experience, I don't think it's too much of, of an issue. And I do think that um, Niantic will be able to provide, you know, a resolution to this issue in particular and um, probably by the time you watch this video that issue might have already been fixed maybe one maybe not the storage one potentially the weather one I, I assume in another news Pokemon Go hub Pokemon Go to finally launch in China no release date yet this will be a major milestone for the game absolutely China is obviously um, a huge market for the game um, I certainly do think there's a lot of um, people will be able to play the game there and as of the fact that it is based in, in, in Asia and the majority of uh, these Japanese animes will probably be quite famous in China as well. One of the uh, biggest markets in, in pretty much anything really. Same with the film industry, uh, whenever they release um, films in China that tends to do really well. Um, so yeah, um, let me know if, you, if you're Chinese and you're very much um, you know, hoping that the game finally arrives in, in China. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the comment below. Are you excited? Um, what, what will be your... It's actually a bit... Um, I feel kind of jealous because of the fact that you're going to play the game for the very first time. I mean, obviously, you might have already played the game at one point. Maybe if you traveled, then maybe that's one way for you to be able to play the game. However, if you're one of these people who actually genuinely want to wait so Pokemon Go actually is launched in China. Uh, like I said, I envy you a bit just because of the fact that you're going to be playing the game for the very first time. And from what I remember, it was it's an absolute huge plus when it uh, when it finally launched. Um, at least here in the UK to begin with. I know I have a bit of an American twang, but I am actually based in the UK. And yeah, it, it was an absolutely ecstatic and insane kind of experience. So um, I'm looking forward to all your reactions when it does come out in China. So guys, that is all for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day.